SolidCam's toolkit enables you to easily add and manage one or more cutting points on a single cutter component. Let's look at a simple example. Here we have a slot mill defined for use in our T-slot operation. By default, every tool has one cutting point. When we click cutting point in the tool item manager, its offset data is displayed. This is where we can modify the origin position of the selected cutting point if different from the given default values. We can also modify the tool offset parameters used for identifying the tool's default position in the tool offset table of the CNC machine. We also have the tool preset options, which are activated only if your CNC machine supports tool presetting and the appropriate parameters are defined as such in the VMID file. Now, let's say, for example, we want to use both the top and bottom cutting faces of our slot mill. Well, Toolkit makes it simple. We can do that by adding and defining another cutting point. In the Tool Item Manager, I'll right-click Cutting Point and select Add Cutting Point. And just like that, another cutting point is added. We can see the next available tool offset index is automatically assigned to the additional cutting point. And the tool can be identified by each cutting point in the tool table list and selected as such. Let's now define our additional cutting point position. First, let's rename our cutting points. The default one will rename bottom cutting face. And the one we added will rename top cutting face. Now for the top cutting face, we'll simply modify the H length. We can take the value from the cutting length parameter in the topology data, or we can use the measurement option in the tool viewer. Using the tool viewer, we can also visualize our defined cutting points by selecting each one in the tool item manager. Now let's see how SolidCam automatically adjusts the toolpath according to the selected cutting point. For our T-slot operation, we'll first use the tool's bottom cutting face. Save and calculate the operation. Here's what the toolpath looks like. Let's now make a copy of the operation. Go into the tool table and select the tool's top cutting face. This time, we'll select for operation using the tool's right-click menu. After we save and calculate, we can compare the toolpath for both. And we can see that SolidCam adjusts the toolpath accordingly.